a unique situation because of the short line railroads that uh, Genesee owns really is a very special strategic business in, in North America. Uh, so I think this, this deal, I wouldn't say, is the beginning of a lot of deals in the railroad space. Having said that, I agree with what you also uh, asked about, which is there's a lot of money in the hands of private equity and infrastructure firms and funds, and they're quite interested in these very strong, reliable, cash flow generating assets uh, like uh, like Genesee. So, um, Cliff, what? Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry, Morgan. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, what do you think of the actual details of the deal? Uh, because I, I realize that the sale price represents what a nearly 40 percent premium from the March price before speculation started to bubble out in the news uh, around a, a possible takeover. But it's the stock still closed around $100 a share on Friday. Yeah, it's, it's a really good price for stockholders, and I think that the board and the management team did a great job here. It is a 40 percent premium. You're right. The, the shares have been trading up on rumor recently, and there have been some, some press articles about it, but it's really about a 40 percent premium to the unaffected price, and so I think it's a fair, very good deal for stockholders, and it'll be a good deal for, for Brookfield and for GIC, because this is a very well-managed business and, uh, and strong assets. And they're good owners for this business because uh, Genesee is going to continue to buy other shoreline uh, businesses over time and improve their international operations and to have a large capital, patient capital partners like, uh, like Brookfield and GIC. It's the right home for this company. But the premium, I think, is a good one, and uh, it was good for stockholders. Yeah, GWR may be a specialized company, uh, Cliff, as you said. Uh but would you would you expect to see the, the deal making environment remain fairly robust given just sort of where we are, where interest rates are, which you spoke about the last time you were on? Absolutely. I mean, speaking broadly, I believe we're going to continue to see a lot of M and A generally. I mean, everything is accretive on an EPS basis for strategic buyers because they're using cash, earning nothing to buy operating earnings, uh, and also in private equity and strategic uh, and private equity infrastructure funds, just a ton of money. I mean, just this week, in addition to this uh, very important transaction today uh, at Genesee, another one of our companies, BCA Marketplace, went private. So we've had you know, two companies go you know, basically private in the same week, and I think it's, we're going to see more of that. There's a lot of capital out there, um, both in strategic and private equity hands. And so I think, and Powell's been pretty uh, straightforward that rates are going to stay low. So it's going to be a very good environment for M&A. Absolutely. But this is this deal is uh, is a cash deal, so that cash is going to be flowing to you uh, based on how many shares you own. Is it the kind of environment where you feel as if there are a lot more opportunities, or you have to be very choosy right now because a, you know wide swaths of this market, cyclical stocks and such, have been beaten down pretty well. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you know, uh, and, uh, you know, the market is is at a higher valuation. Having said that, you know, you can always find companies that, for idiots from catech reasons. Are trading at a significant discount. Genesee is a perfect example. Uh, we believe the shares were undervalued uh, at seventy-five, eighty dollars a share because they had these two small international businesses that investors didn't understand, and businesses weren't as strong as the U.S. business. And that's a really good example of why this this company was trading so much, uh, so undervalued. So. I think there are opportunities out there, particularly in the mid cap space, where companies are misunderstood or misfollowed. And I think we're going to see, you know, I will, I will be reinvesting this cash in, in new, new positions, and I think there's plenty of fertile opportunities out there.